Good evening, and welcome to Tabletop Cinema, a game where the Dungeon Studios team gets together, and we review TV show and movie clips to determine the roles on a D&D &D table in order for that scene to actually play out. Joining me tonight, we have five members of the Dungeon Studios team. First up, Mrs. Christine Coolin. Hello, hello! Followed by Mr. Todd Ruckteschel. Welcome back, and I hope you're ready to have a good time. Let's go to the memorable Adam. I'd like to roll an insight check. <laughs> I bet you would. <laughs> uh, let's uh, go down to uh, Mr. T.J. Strickland. Insight this. <laughs> uh, followed by my guy Tigan down there. I just want to say this got out of hand so fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I uh, appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me tonight. Uh, the first clip we're going to review is from the TV show Vikings, and it is the attack scene on Paris. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and check this out. <laughs> Swing! Hack! Hack! Die, you son of a bitch! I just, I just, I just, <laughs> he just fell in trees, man. I can do a really good impression of him. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, every time that first dude got clocked so bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I would like to point out imagine, you know, coming up those, those rickety wooden ladders like that, you know, coming up the side of a keep. You know, jumping into uh -huh. a trench filled with guys with swords, you know? <laughs> Gotta uh, have goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Watch his play. And then let's add him. Here, it's not uh, just sword, no, it's swords and shields. Oh, and yeah. And so they, they, were, they were set up to, to parry those blows, but just the sheer strength of these Vikings. Still doesn't stop them from this, though. Well, the the speed of the onslaught is the problem because an axe is a lot faster than a sword. A, a, a lot of the issue was the ferocity of the Vikings. The, He's the, right. The French, the French wait, and wait, 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 wait. Now, wait. The French and English had these armies that were trained to, you know be in positions and do certain jobs where the Vikings right. came in with brute force and chaos and they just didn't know how right. to handle that. Right. Plus, the French were scared because they didn't have armor to speak of. You know, what do you do against that? You just stand there and go, what What do I do? I, I, I'm going to swing now. You wouldn't so, know what to think about French that. French were naked without their armor? The Vikings would fight with very little armor. Oh, yeah. So... Most of them were when just they armor. Were... They couldn't afford armor. Right. But, so that's why the drugs. <laughs> because you didn't want to have to be where you were. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Ow. Oh, Ow. shit. Ow. So wait, hold on. How, question: How did that first dude die from just fall? That's like a fifteen foot fall in the water. There's no way he died from that. He, did, he didn't die. He was enjoying his first bath in months. <laughs> <laughs> or it was a baptism. Well, and Ragnar. I mean, that was a pretty risky gamble. I'm just gonna throw myself over the wall. It's not that far. I should survive. And he lives! Well, the amazing thing psychedelics can do to your body and your mind. <laughs> you will feel that pain eventually. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure he's feeling it right now. <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, yeah, he's, he's hurt. He's, he's very hurt. Uh-oh. The boy died. Oh no, not the boy! 
Dang. Oh, he's oh, moving his back. Ooh. Double tap. Shish kebab. Double tap. <laughs> That's how you know they're really dead. To the chest, one to the head. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> All right, guys, that's our uh, that's our scene there. Now, that's a pretty high action scene. Uh, so I, I'm I'm curious to see what roles you think would be needed in order for those Vikings to to get up those ladders and get into those trenches like that. Uh, either yeah. athletics or acrobatics, but yeah. I just I just want to say that first dude that got clocked that was a net because <laughs> that was <laughs> that was disrespectful. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. So, as far as you know, getting up in in there to the uh, to the trenches, uh, what what role do you think that they're gonna need to overwhelm that? that force there to get in there well the ladder is probably just going to be a, a deck save or athletics and a dc of 15 because it's at an angle it's you know it's rickety it's shoddy okay. maybe well, for, who knows the, for the vikings the all the screaming and you know wielding the weapons around and stuff that's all intimidation role just trying to throw oh yeah them. I agree. Throw off the French so that you can get that extra, you know, bonus to your attack or whatever. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah, because you want to cause as much confusion as possible when you're up there. So you just want to swing everywhere. Absolutely. Give them the backup. Now, those yeah, guys, okay. uh, those guys that are, uh, pushing that, that ladder, the guy that was coming up the ladder. And they were pushing uh -huh. that over. Uh, we call that strength check? Strength. That's definitely. Oh, yeah. A, a, yeah, that would be strength. strength definitely check. contested strength check. Yep. To which he failed. Yeah, which he failed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. I'd um, say it would be a, gr a group strength check for the French. All right. Of the, all the strength check, you use the average against the DC. Well, and for him, then it would be acrobatics. Oh, 100%. Right. Because trying to stay upright on that ladder oh, and man. then for some reason just letting go and falling and apparently dying from a 15 foot fall into the water like, yeah, I was like, don't no say way. he was just enjoying a bath I, I'm going to have to agree with that because that didn't make no sense no all I mean I, geez. he didn't get hit not once he ain't have an arrow no. in his back they ain't slicing they kick him off of the side of this wall, which is at max 15 feet in the air, and he dies. This dude has to be a commoner or something. Well, I don't know much lore of the show, um, so, you know, there very well may be a viewer out there that, that knows exactly what happens to that guy who fell in the water that might be willing to drop it in the comments down there. I've, I've seen the show, I, but I'm not going to ruin it for anybody. <laughs> I'm just uh, wondering um, if there were, like sharp rocks that might have like hit the head uh causing instant like death or something i don't know very well could uh it was it, it was a moat uh you know uh around a castle so i'm sure there was I, I don't think the dysentery kicks in that quickly <laughs> <laughs> i don't know that's just a guess though i i, I i've never been there myself and then the guy at the end, what he just like threw himself right off the, right off the edge. Well, was what, that so? That, was that like an honor thing or something, or what was what was going no, on no, there? No, no, no. He, he was, I think he realized that he was outnumbered. He had yeah, like he was gonna get his, fifteen yeah. guys around him, and that's why he screamed and then threw himself off. He knew he was he was as good as dead anyway. Okay. Right. So like I said, that was a hell of a gamble that he made, throwing himself off of that, that rooftop. You know from a glance knowing that the wall was narrow enough that he would hit it and it would break his fall i mean come on that's that's awesome <laughs> there's some performance you know that, that's is, that a a perf performance is that a performance role, role? <laughs> you bet your ass it is because he's standing there and he's looking he just screamed at him they all kind of backed up a little and he dove off the wall and they're all like 
what the hell? But, <laughs> but is it is it performance or is it a religion check, hoping to God that you survive? <laughs> well, he's a Viking. Uh, he probably wants to die. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, yeah, but this, yeah, this is not. This was not a place to die. He wasn't looking to die. He was looking to get away. But for well, Ragnar, really, that... so so he was doing that to just to get away. He wasn't trying to die off of that. No. No, he was just trying to get away. Ragnar, <sighs> in the in the show, from what I have seen of it, right. he's a very smart guy. He's very clever, and he takes those kinds of gamble. Huh. Because if you if you live, then you go and do better the next day. It's just one of those things. Okay. All right. Well, so it's like this is my best chance to live. He Throw was myself a like... intelligent, strategic character in the show. He, I would guess, he had an intelligence of at least seventeen, eighteen. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, he was a he was a clan leader, too. You know, so. King? Did he get to be king, or the Thanks, the bro. high jarl or whatever? Yeah. So, anyhow. <clears throat> yep. Live to try again tomorrow. Awesome. Sounds like a good creed to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very piratey. I like it. Yeah, absolutely. Piraties <clears throat> are always cool. Yeah. Awesome, guys. Well, uh, let's see. I appreciate you guys hanging out and watching these clips with me. Um, of course. Also, you know, um, viewers at home, if you guys like these videos that we that we've been creating, um, go ahead and head over to YouTube or just go ahead and hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. And uh, until next time.